Proofs, the narcissist now regrets what they've done to you. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into a topic that many of us can relate to, the idea that a narcissist does, in fact, experience regret over things they often do not acknowledge. Having gone through this myself, I can share insights that I hope will bring you clarity and help you understand the complexities of dealing with a narcissist and their actions. To begin with, it is essential to recognize that after a relationship with a narcissist ends, whether you were the one who was discarded or if you were the one who chose to leave, you may find yourself in a state of confusion and mental fog. This experience is common, and many people struggle with overwhelming thoughts about the narcissist. It is not unusual for individuals to blame themselves for the problems in the relationship, or to feel torn between conflicting emotions. At times, we may even elevate the narcissist to an almost mythical status, viewing them as infallible beings who have simply walked away from us without any consequences for their actions. One contributing factor to this perception is the influence of social media. Many people tend to showcase only the positive aspects of their lives online, leaving out the struggles and hardships they face. It is crucial to understand that beneath the surface of what appears to be a perfect life lies a reality that is often hidden. Much of what I discuss regarding the feelings and regrets of the narcissist exists below the surface level. They navigate through life wearing a mask of confidence and success, often drawing attention away from their true emotions. This facade can make them seem untouchable, projecting an image of happiness and well-being. However, it is vital to remember that the way they exit relationships is typically chaotic and toxic. The ending of these relationships often leaves a trail of destruction and confusion. Because of this turmoil, it can be challenging to see the full picture of what has occurred. Now, if you find this discussion helpful, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Your support means a lot and only takes a few seconds of your time. Going back to the picture I mentioned earlier, the image that the narcissist paints can be deceiving. They often create a narrative that suggests they do not care about you or your feelings. It can feel as though they have discarded you, tossing you aside like you were nothing. You might see them moving on with their lives, appearing happy with a new partner or even starting a family. This can intensify feelings of hurt and confusion, making it seem as though they have completely moved past the relationship without any remorse. You need to understand that one of the most important aspects of healing and moving forward is recognizing your own value. Many people mistakenly place their worth in the hands of the narcissist, believing that their value is only significant when they are in a relationship with them. It is crucial to realize that the narcissist chose to be with you because you possess inherent value. You bring something special to the table, whether it is your kindness, intelligence, or unique qualities that make you who you are. You have high value and this value often stems from your ability to empathize with others. Being an empath means that you have a deep understanding of emotions and a capacity for compassion that is often rare. This spiritual abundance is a blessing that allows you to connect with others on a profound level. You have the ability to see the world through different perspectives, to truly understand what someone else is feeling, and to put yourself in their shoes. However, after a relationship with a narcissist ends, this empathetic nature can leave you feeling disoriented and confused. You may find yourself in a state of brain fog, struggling to comprehend the situation and feeling as though the narcissist is perfectly fine without you. This feeling is misleading. It is important to understand that the narcissist's encounter with someone as genuine and loving as you has an impact on them, even if they do not acknowledge it at first. While you may have moments where you believe you made mistakes in the relationship, it is essential to recognize that many of those behaviors were reflections of the narcissist's own actions and attitudes. In relationships with narcissists, our natural defense mechanisms often cause us to mirror their behaviors back to them. So, if you felt you acted in ways that were unkind, it may have been a response to the negativity they directed toward you. After the relationship ends, the narcissist may experience a sense of regret about how they treated you. This regret becomes more pronounced as they move on to a new supply. They often jump into new relationships quickly, perhaps seeking validation or comfort. However, this new relationship can lead to a period of reflection. When two people part ways, it can provide an opportunity for growth and understanding, 
even in the case of a narcissist. As they distance themselves from you, they may start to reevaluate their past. The complaints they previously had about you may diminish in importance, and they may begin to remember the good times you shared. They start to reflect on how you made them feel and the positive aspects of your relationship. All the kindness and extra effort you put into the relationship might come flooding back to them. Many of us have invested a great deal of love and care, often helping the narcissist during their difficult times. After some time, they may begin to realize the depth of what they lost, even while they are with someone new. However, it is important to note that their regret is often rooted in self-interest. They begin to think about you and ruminate on the relationship, but this reflection is not necessarily heartfelt. Instead, it stems from discomfort with the thoughts of you and the realization of what they have lost. They may feel plagued by memories of you and the actions they took that caused pain. This internal conflict can lead to feelings of regret, but it is often more about how these thoughts affect them than a genuine understanding of the hurt they caused you. Instead of reaching out to you with genuine remorse by saying something like, "I regret what I've done," I'm truly sorry. The narcissist often takes a different approach. Rather than acknowledging their mistakes, they frequently attempt to recreate aspects of your relationship with a new supply. This means they may try to make the new partner engage in the same intimate behaviors or fulfill similar roles that you once did. Their goal is to mold this new person into a version of you, as if they are trying to replace you rather than confront their own shortcomings. It is important to understand that the narcissist experiences deep regret after the relationship ends, even if they do not express it openly. When the relationship concludes, they find themselves in a vulnerable position, often feeling lost and alone. They may feel like they are wandering in a wilderness filled with potential threats, as there are many individuals who will take advantage of their insecurities, just as they exploited you during your time together. The reality is that the narcissist may encounter other toxic individuals who could harm them in similar ways. Even if they happen to meet someone genuinely good after you, the narcissist is still not ready to embrace this new relationship. They have not fully processed their feelings for you. And they carry unresolved emotions and regret regarding how they treated you. This lack of healing makes it difficult for them to invest in something new. Therefore, when they rush into new relationships, they are stepping into dangerous territory. It is not just unhealthy for them, but it can also lead to more emotional turmoil. It's crucial to recognize that the narcissist often moves on quickly, but this behavior is not a sign of strength or emotional stability. Rather, they may be using new relationships as a way to distract themselves from the pain of losing you. They often do this with you in mind, thinking, "I can show my ex that I've moved on." In today's world of social media, where everyone shares their lives online, the narcissist may feel compelled to post about their new relationships constantly. This is often done with the intention of rubbing it in your face, knowing that you might still be watching their updates. This is why it is essential to avoid checking their social media. By doing so, you are practicing a form of no contact, which is crucial for your healing process. Engaging with their online presence can pull you back into a cycle of pain and resentment. Instead, it's beneficial to view the situation from a broader perspective, almost like a bird's eye view. This allows you to analyze the core issues without getting lost in the details of your emotions. From this vantage point, you can begin to see that you are not at fault for what happened. The narcissist has created an illusion that makes you doubt yourself and question your actions. Even those who have endured the most challenging and painful experiences after being discarded by a narcissist often find themselves ruminating about their own perceived mistakes. This tendency to overthink is a characteristic of empaths, who naturally feel a deep sense of responsibility for the feelings of others. The narcissist does not spend their time reflecting on the hurt they have caused you. Instead, they tend to ruminate on the things that did not go their way. For instance, they may fixate on their inability to form a genuine emotional connection or bond with their new supply. This inability to connect is often a direct result of their lingering thoughts about you. Rather than taking responsibility for their actions, they may continue to blame you, claiming that you are the reason they cannot move on. They might say things like, "This person is always in my head," projecting their frustrations on you instead of confronting their own issues. Deep down, the narcissist is experiencing profound regret. 
Some of you may have experienced what is known as hoovering, where the narcissist tries to pull you back into their life after a breakup. This usually happens when they find themselves at a low point, feeling vulnerable and alone. That is why I emphasize the importance of limiting contact with them. The less energy you expend on monitoring their social media or engaging with them, the better. In my own experience, even when I thought there was no way for them to reach out, they found a way to contact me using a fake profile, demonstrating their relentless need for Hoover. These individuals are suffering. They are haunted by thoughts of you because they attempted to make you suffer during your time together. However, karma has a way of coming back around, and the narcissist often finds themselves unable to form meaningful connections with others after you. Transitioning from a relationship with you to another person can create significant emotional turmoil for them. They struggle to bond with new partners, which is why they often try to mold their new supply into a version of you. This behavior is perplexing and highlights their deep-seated issues. When you find yourself thinking about the narcissist, it is essential to stop viewing them as untouchable or infallible. They do not live in a fairy tale filled with sunshine and rainbows. Instead, they are trapped in a cycle of deep regret, and this regret will continue to follow them throughout their lives. You represent the one person they cannot reclaim, which adds to their inner turmoil. This is why it is crucial to remove all forms of supply from them. If you continue to give them even the smallest bits of attention or validation, it diminishes the impact of your absence. However, when you completely cut off contact, they are left to grapple with their feelings alone. It may seem quiet for a while, but over time, the effects of your absence will become apparent. In my case, it took four years before I received a hoover from my narcissist. While I do not suggest you wait for this moment, it serves as a significant indicator that they are indeed suffering. I encourage you to look beyond the surface and view the situation from a broader perspective. Consider the ways in which the narcissist is struggling, and reflect on your own experiences. Many of you may have noticed signs of their suffering, and I invite you to share those observations in the comments section. Your insights can be valuable to others who are going through similar situations. Remember, sharing your experiences can help create a supportive community where we can learn from one another. I will leave the video here. If you found this discussion helpful, please take a moment to like the video. Your support is appreciated, and it helps us reach more people who may benefit from this conversation. Thank you for your time and remember to prioritize your healing journey.